So, if you haven't been paying attention to the channel, you may have missed that recently I've been doing them all. I've been going through every AMD Ryzen chip that is and comparing it to B550. X570, done. X470, easy, done. But, there's one big one I haven't done yet. The biggest competitor to B550 itself. Or rather, the older version of itself. Because yes, today we'll be finally talking about the main competitor to B550, B450, the very thing it's supposed to be replacing. So how how wow does it actually replace B450? Well, it sounds like a perfect end to this little B550 guide series, so let's talk about it, shall we? So one of the main differences of B550 and B450 that many people don't know about and can cause them quite a few headaches is compatibility with Ryzen CPUs. Because, well, it does differ a lot. As B550 only sports Virgin CPUs and future Ryzen CPUs, particularly Ryzen 4000, which will be coming you know, later this year if we're lucky. It does not support Ryzen Virgin APUs, any Ryzen 2nd gen chips, and also going back in the Stone Ages, it doesn't support any first gen Ryzen CPUs either. So that is something to look out for. So if you're still stuck on some older CPUs and you're just planning on upgrading your motherboard, then while well, you're out of luck, B550 is not the thing you need. So only buy B550 when you're going with a Ryzen 3rd gen or 4th gen or later CPUs. We won't know exactly for how many generations this chipset will be supported. So with that out of the way, what does it do better? Well, quite a few things actually. So let's start by talking about PCIe, shall we? Because B450, well, it wasn't super generous with PCIe lanes, as its main PCIe 16x slot and its main M.2 4x slot use PCIe Gen 3, but all of its lesser slots use PCIe Gen 2 lanes. But thankfully, with B550, those Stone Age antiques have been gotten rid of, because now we're all, at least, PCIe Gen 3. So it's essentially the same thing, but just, you know, bumped up a generation. So your main 16x slot and your main N.2 4x slot are PCIe Gen 4, so you'll be able to make great use of PCIe Gen 4 devices, such as graphics cards, MDMEs, network cards, and more. And all the lesser slots are PCIe Gen 3, which is definitely great if you're planning on doing a lot of expanding. The other main thing is connectivity. Firstly, most of them, apart from some of the more budget ones, like I talked about in my B550 buying guide, which you definitely check out, which will be up in the iCards, use 2.5 gig LAN. So you get way faster than working than just the standard 1 gigabit you see on most motherboards. I mean, it's something that even budget x 70 motherboards can have, so it's a rather nice little feature. It is truly amazing that we're already getting 2.5 gigabit Ethernet on budget motherboards. Additionally, more USBs are back, more newer and faster USB standards, and of course, USB Type-C is finally way more prevalent on budget motherboards, which is great. One downside, however, is the fact that because you see PCIe Gen 4, the chipset has to be called with a fan in most cases. So that's something that can maybe stop working after a while, but so far from what we've seen in x 70 the failure rate for chipset fans is rather low, which is great. Plus, in quite a few models, the chipset fan actually stops when the temperatures are low enough, so it doesn't wear out as quickly. And those are really the main differences. If you want to learn more about what motherboard you should buy, like I said, check out that B550 buying guide. Also check out my other comparisons with B550 to other Ryzen chipsets if you're still unsure what chipset is right for you. And if you have nothing better to do, then also make check out the description of this video where you'll find the link to my Patreon if you want to help support the channel more heavily. As in one dollar month is a long way in helping make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. Down there you should find my Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. And I guess that's really it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you don't subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in what i'll make next goodbye everyone goodbye